Hey guys and welcome back to Catch Up Cam. So I am aware that it's been like a century or something since I've put videos out which is literally insane. I've been away for so long and it's just, yeah, I'm sorry. I have a long list of valid reasons why but I'm not going to tell you them all now because it's going to be Wednesday's video so you can look forward to that. It's going to be a kind of like where the hell have I been video so yeah that, that will explain everything. As you can see at the minute I'm dressed for work. Hairs up, makeup's done, and yeah, we're gonna go in a minute. I need to stop off to the shop before I go for a couple of things. But other than that, I'm just going to work for now, and then later on, I'll talk to you guys some more and get catch up cam back on track because I miss it. Do you miss it? I thought so. I thought so. So yeah, I'll leave you guys, and I'll come back in like five hours or something. Don't go away. <laughs> hey guys, so I'm finally back from work. It is currently half six at night. I've been gone that long and had nothing to eat. What fun life. So yeah, I'm gonna go make some tea, but I'm gonna go get changed first, go and put my wandy on and chill and then talk to you guys because I've literally done nothing so far apart from go to work. So I'm, I'm gonna do stuff, I'm gonna do something. But yeah, I'm gonna go get some food first and nick the TV whilst no one's got it. So put my wandy on if I can find it first. It's a Bambi wandy. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and get all nice and snugs because it is absolutely freezing out there. Like seriously, it's spitting rain and it's so cold and it's trying to snow and just like, no, just, just give me the nice warm bed, man. Ah, I fell over an umbrella. What happened so fast? It's just, no. This is the comfiest thing I've worn all day. I'm literally in heaven right now. See what's on the box. So I'm currently watching Brooklyn Nine-Nine because I'm waiting for the Big Bang Theory to start but I literally haven't watched TV in so freaking long so I'm taking over it and I'm watching Big Bang Theory all night. It's happening. I have my trusty laptop. <laughs> that was my rib. I think I've literally broke something like call 999. I, anyways, my trusty laptop clearly doesn't like me. Okay, so we're in the kitchen so so far we've got the pasta boiling. We've got sausages in the oven and we've got our sauce. Basically just make a carbonara but putting meat in it. So I've finished my tea, so I'm just ooh I nearly poured it. Chilling with a cup of tea and some biscuits as you do, and then I've got quite a bit to sort of like plan and do, so I'll tell you about that when I do it. But I just literally nearly fell down the stairs, it was one of the scariest things. I was carrying my laptop and my mug upstairs and my tea was like gonna spill. So I tilted backwards a little bit to like tilt it back into the cup and nearly went backwards, tumbling down the stairs. So <sighs> I literally can't be trusted. I can't be trusted. I just need to sit here and drink my tea and just life flash before my eyes. It no. So there I was, just innocently drinking my cup of tea, and then all of a sudden I start to like choke on it, and then nearly cause my own death. I literally just choked on a cup of tea. I like, I can't be trusted with anything. Death by tea. I nearly fell down the stairs five minutes ago. But anyway, I am addicted to this game called Word Cookies. I think. Yeah, word cookies. Basically, you just kind of have to make words out of the letters that you were given in the cookie pan. And I'm doing it, I'm procrastinating and not doing the stuff that I should be doing. So, I'm going to put my phone down and get to work. Not literal work, because, mm, but the stuff that I have to do. Oh, there's a lot. There's a list. So guys, it's Valentine's Day in like, what, two days, two, three days, something like that. And yeah, what are you guys doing for Valentine's Day? Are you doing anything? This is the first year where like I'm actually doing something on Valentine's Day. I've never like celebrated before or anything. But this year, me and my boyfriend are going bowling, which would be fun because neither of us can bowl. So like it's gonna be absolutely hilarious. Like seriously, that's gonna be comical. And then we're going to the cinema, but I'm just checking to make sure that the film that we want to see is actually still out at the cinema, which is one thing I had to check. So I'm going to do that now and make sure and then we're coming back to mine and we're going to get pizzas and stuff and it's going to be nice and chilled and it's going to be my first Valentine's Day and I'm excited. It'd be nice to spend like a full day with them because I don't really get to see them a lot. I see them like at uni when I'm with all my friends and stuff but like outside of uni we don't really see each other a lot so it'd be nice to kind of like spend a day and do some stuff. So yeah I'm going to make sure that the film's still out because we both really wanted to see it and it'll be devastating if it's not. So stay tuned to find out. I'm devastated. I'm truly devastated. We wanted to go see The Bye Bye Man and Odeon ain't showing it. View Cinema ain't showing it. The only horror film that is actually shown is at the View Cinema, which is a trek away. And it rings at 10.25pm. PM. 
that's so sad. I really want to see the Bye Bye Man. I don't know what we're going to do now because we both really want to see it. N25. What the hell, Odeon? What the hell? Like, does the cinema not like Preston or something? Because clearly it really doesn't. Very sad. That's ruined everything. Well, not everything. It's ruined the cinema, but everything else will be fun. Bloody hell. So seeing as the first internet thing has failed, I'm gonna forget about that, we'll sort it out on the day, go with the flow, whatever. But yeah, basically it's not even yet, but like, my birthday's first, but I'm getting it in early, I'm planning it in early while, while I can. But my boyfriend's birthday is in June, 26th of June, and I'm being mischievous and I'm planning something between the 27th and the 29th, which I've just found out that he has got off work, so mischievous plan will go through but basically all he knows is that it involves traveling he's not being told anything else and i'm not planning on telling them anything else and he sometimes watches these so I'm not really going to tell you guys a lot either but all he knows is it involves traveling so that means taking him somewhere going somewhere and we're going to be there for two days haven't told him where haven't told him what we're doing but i'm currently sat I have a couple of ideas of things I want to do when we get to said place, very mischievous, that I know he will like and I will, but I'm not going to tell you what and I can't tell him what, but I've got some plans in place for it already. Yeah, I can't tell you much because it'll give it away, it will completely give it away, but I can't say anything, but some of it's planned, there's just a couple more things I need to plan so that everything's sorted and we'll run smoothly and we can go and not have to worry about anything, but yeah, we're getting there. Planned one thing today, that's done, ticked off the list, the major thing that we kind of needed. So that's done. But yeah, he literally has not got a clue. He's kind of, what the hell are you planning? I was like, you will survive, I promise. It just involves transport. Just, just trust me and get on the transport, okay? That's all I needed to do, just get on the transport and you'll find out when we get there. But yeah, I'm planning something. I'm a mischievous one. So basically, we were supposed to go to Arizona, the pair of us, and we didn't, so... That was very very sad. Basically he got onto the trip and then he couldn't go because his passport wasn't here in time which I don't think was very fair. I think we should have been given about a week to get a passport together but they weren't so I got offered it so I turned it down. So I wanted just to do something nice so I have a plan. My sister knows about the plan. My mum knows about the plan. Nobody else knows about the plan. If you want to know the plan DM me or message me I might tell you the plan but he ain't gonna know. He, he ain't finding out. But basically, I'm just kind of googling it and coming up with some ideas. It's like what I want to be. It'll be fun. You'll enjoy it. It'll be nice. So yeah, that's to look forward to in June. I have time off work. He's got time off work. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I've never done anything like this before. I've never like mischievously planned something like this before. So yeah, stay tuned to find out. I'm a sly one, okay? I literally look bald, but I do have hair. It's just in like a ponytail. But yeah, I'm on planning mode today. I have to sort my birthday out as well, because basically what's happened is, the day before my birthday, which is the 10th of April, because my birthday's on the 11th, me and like a massive gang of my friends are all going up to Newcastle and we're all staying at my house. There's like 11 of us or something, and there's like five or four different cars taking up there. So yeah, we're going on a road trip to Newcastle, because we're all going out the day after in Newcastle for a night out, because some of them have never been, and it's where I'm from, so it'll be fun. And my parents are going to be there, and obviously my sister and everything and friends from both college and school so there's going to be a massive gang of weird like people that i haven't spoken to since i went to school so it'd be nice to see them so yeah that's gonna be really really exciting and i've got like my friends in my house for like four days or something so that's gonna be really nice but i need to plan that because obviously we need to know who's going to what cars what kind of sleeping arrangements we need because there's a lot of us staying in the house guys like my poor cat is going to be running mad, like we're going to have to check bags before we leave because she will jump in them. So yeah, I've got my birthday sort out as well. Literally, like, I'm on it, I'm, I'm planning stuff today. Another thing that I have to do that I haven't done yet is brainstorm a YouTube video. And this is a terrible angle. Ow! <laughs> brainstorm a YouTube video because I need to do a YouTube video for why I haven't really been on YouTube. Sort of like, this is a terrible angle, like, I actually look like an egg. But yeah, as to why I haven't been on YouTube. Don't ask what's going on with the camera angles, just go with it. But basically I have a lot of reasons for why I haven't been, sort of like, I've had issues with the house, literally this house has been falling apart around me. You touch something, it falls apart. My hob tried to blow me up, and yeah, my house tried to kill me, and yeah, basically my house has been trying to kill me. Have you ever seen Monster House? 
that is my house i will not be surprised if one day it grows legs and follows me down the street it will happen it is like the most terrible house i've ever lived in my life like to the people next year do not rent this house and yeah i've been sorting out accommodation for next year and trying to sort out summer accommodation because as of currently i am going to be homeless for two months <laughs> And I don't know what to do about it because I can't go home because I have a job here and I can't transfer it because they need the staff here. So it's a bit of a bit of an issue which I'm trying to sort out. And I've been really, really ill health wise. Literally, I have been back and forth to the bloody doctors. I might as well move my bed in there, which is why I haven't been able to film anything because of the problems that are wrong with me, if that makes any sense. Like I've been on, obviously I'm on tablets anyway, but I've been on antibiotics and literally they've been knocking me for six because they were quite strong and then also I had blood tests and they came back as a bit of a like basically on the phone they said it was an emergency and I was like oh, for god's sake anything else want to go wrong so yeah I have low blood pressure and problems with my iron so I've been taking iron tablets and like anything else any anything else like seriously I have very low vi a vitamin or whatever I have very low iron so my blood pressure is low and it's a bit of an issue because it makes you very very tired and it makes you sort of dizzy and gives you headaches and when you kind of move to get up it sort of like knocks you for six like your coordination is a bit gone so being able to be like awake long enough like I literally fall asleep without even knowing about it sometimes I come home sit down and I'm asleep and sometimes literally being at work like my head will just completely go and yeah it's quite hard to just sit and make a youtube video when you've got issues going on like that and i've just had other issues with myself and literally it's all just been too much like seriously this has been such 2017 started off great and then these few weeks just hit me and just everything came at me at once like seriously so i have not been able to make youtube videos but i'm back and you're stuck with me now so this is catch up cam and it will go up as promised and I will hopefully be back on Wednesday I do have an idea for a video but I'm just chilling and this bed is so freaking comfy like look at it how could you not want to lie on this bed and go to sleep whether you have fatigue problems or not well, it's just too comfy so I've been given a task to do basically my dad wants to buy me Pandora ring for my birthday how exciting is that I don't own any Pandora jewellery, I never have. I have a ring that they got me for, I think I was about 18 when I got that, but it was for Christmas, not for my birthday. And that's from, I think it was from H. Samuel, it's like a silver sort of like, rose viney sort of, yeah, that kind of like, it's a, it's a flat ring basically with patterns on it. That's the ring that I have, and they wanted to get me another one because it was my 21st, which is another sort of milestone birthday. So I've been told to go have a look at Pandora. This is very, very exciting. Pandora rings are like the nicest things. I see so many people with them and I'm like, I freaking want that. But yeah, he wants to get me one. So let's get choosing. Oh my God, this is going to be the hardest choice of my entire freaking life. Right, let's see what we can find first. Let's see. I'm going to find some ones that I like and then we'll narrow it down. Yeah, well, that's how we'll start. We'll do that. So I've been looking at Pandora at rings like my dad told me to and I've managed to narrow it down to four. And out of those four, there's two that I really, really like, but I'm going to show you the four. And I can't choose between the two that I'm kind of like torn between. It's it's really, really hard. But anyway, these are the four that I've got it down to. I've got like the heart linked one, which is just like hearts going all the way around it. The infinity sign one, which is a bit like the hearts, it's flat and it's just like a ring of infinity signs. Silver bowl, which is absolutely gorgeous, like look at it. Or oh, the daisy. I am very, very torn between the bow and the daisy. I'm literally having to message people to ask them which one they think that I'd suit more because I haven't got a clue. I really like the bow, but then a lot of people are saying get the daisy and I'm like, it's going to be one of the two. If I decide, I will let you know because my dad wants to get me one for my birthday, so I need to decide which one I want because, I mean, I need to get sized up for it and everything, so... Why is it so hard? They're all so beautiful. Like, literally, I could have, like, a zillion Pandora rings and be so happy with life. Hello, oh, beautiful people of Twitter. I have turned to you in this great time of need. I have put out a poll asking you guys which one you prefer, the bow or the daisy, and we will find out what you guys think. I'll let you know, I'll let you know. I want to know your opinion because you guys are quite good at stuff like that, so we'll see what you say. I have faith in you, I trust you guys. 
So I've done some research for Jay's birthday and I'm quite happy with what I found out. And I'm going to have a look at the poll I put on Twitter to see what you guys are saying about the rings that I was after. So let's see what the verdict is, shall we? Dun, dun, dun. You guys say Daisy. A lot of people have said Daisy. So yeah, I'll probably get the Daisy one then, seeing as that seems to be the popular one. So Daisy it is. I'm trying to think if there's anything I need to update you guys on, but I don't feel like there is. Oh yeah, my hair's been redyed. I don't think I showed you because I didn't vlog with my mum was here, but she redyed it. And it's very, very blue. And I love it. It's great, I love it. Yeah, anything else I need to tell you? Uh, not that I can think of. I'm not at work tomorrow. It's a chill day. I'm going to go out. I've got a few bits and things to get because obviously Jay's coming on Monday. And yeah, so it'll be good. I'm going to go have a look around and just sort of like have a leisurely look around because I'm normally in on a Sunday and I'm not. So I'm going to make the most of it basically. I'm going to tidy up in here a bit because it is literally like a pigsty and I can't have them staying in this. And yeah, oh, I'm going to try and get back on track with my blog, which is something that... I did ages ago and then never kind of like continued to do but I'm going to try and get back in it. I've got a post idea which I'm going to start and try and get back into my YouTube swing of things, try and get back into my blog, that sort of thing. And yeah, I'm currently just looking into kind of what am I going to do after uni and dissertation which is very very scary. It's getting very real this year. I kind of know a few ideas of what I want to do for dissertation so I'm not kind of like going in completely blind. I've got an idea of what I'd like to do and if I can pull it off, then yeah, sorted. And yeah, I don't know, I might do a master's, but I'm not too sure what subject area yet. But that is the plan of action at the minute, kind of figuring out what I'm going to do with life after uni because it is really quickly approaching. Like, I can't believe I nearly finished second year, like that is mad, like seriously. I don't even feel old enough, like I'm 21 in April, where did that go? It's mental. Oh yeah, and then me and Molly is planning a few bits and things for the Vamps tour. We have a hotel for Glasgow and we're looking into Liverpool because of the train times and stuff and the fact that I live in Preston it isn't very far. So basically trying to see if we can get back after that and if we need a hotel and stuff. So yeah, this month has been literally chaos. It's basically like planning and spending so much freaking money on like friggin medication and places to live for like next year basically. So it's being chaotic and being ill and welcome to January, welcome to 2017. It isn't all roses. And it started snowing on the way to work today, like, what is that? What, what is that? I feel like I've literally talked at you guys non-stop today, but I'm just trying to get you up to speed as to what you've missed and to what's been going on and yeah, so I'm just kind of talking at you, so I'm sorry if this is boring you, but Trying to get catch up time back on track, trying to get you back on track with what's going on in my life. So yeah, that's what we're going with today. Yeah, I'm very, very excited to be moving into a different flat. A one that's not going to fall apart around me. Literally, I've been and I've seen it, which I've already said in the vlog before. But I'm just so excited, like I can't wait to be there. Like I don't like being here. I try to put off going home as long as possible, which my friends have noticed. And yeah, but Beth's flat, literally, it looks incredible. It's got its own suite, the sitting room looks great and... Yeah, I'm going to have to gut this room when I move in to take things that I definitely want. But it's all very, very exciting and I just can't wait. But yeah, haven't been on YouTube because I've had some problems and stuff. And we're back now and I'm planning a lot of things. I'm planning my birthday, I'm planning Jay's birthday. It's Valentine's Day in two days. It's going good. It's going great. So yeah, that was Catch Up Cam for today. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. My subscribers are slowly climbing, I've noticed, which is great. So thank you if you've already subscribed and you're watching this. I am going to try my hardest to be back on YouTube, I promise you, once I've got over all of these issues and try and get them under control, I'll be back. I'm going to try and be back on Wednesday. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Thanks for all the support, guys, and until next time, bye.